How's it going? Welcome back. It's day six. I know you guys have been waiting for day six for a while, and you might notice there's a little uh, change here on the set. I don't know if, maybe leave in the comments if you can pick out what's different about this set than last time. But we're going to talk about a strumming pattern used in one of my favorite songs, The Lion Sleeps Tonight, and also used in Jason Mraz's I'm yours. So we're going to take a look at the up, down, up, mute pattern. So this will be the first strum that we've done that actually starts on the and, which is an up strum. So get tuned up and let's check this one out. All right, so let's take a look at this pattern. So the way that I like to start this pattern is I just kind of take my palm and I cover the sound hole here. So that's the first move. Then when we start the pattern, again, which is up, down, up, mute, I just take my hand and I cup my fingers into my palm. So that could be all of your fingers, that could be your index and your middle finger, or it simply could just be your index finger. So I'll do the most simplified version of it here, which is just my index finger. So I have my hand placed over the sound hole here. I pull my index finger in, so it's up. I go down with my index finger, that's down, and then up again, and then mute. I just clap my hand back on here. So check that out real slow. So it's up, down, up, mute. Now I'm just muted over here too. So up, down, up, mute. Now the way that you would count that, because you're starting on an up strum, so it would go and one, and two, and three, and four. So you could do it like that, or you could just do this as a split bar thing. So it would just be and one and two and one and two. So let's just try that together nice and slow. So we're just going to do as we normally do. We're just going to mute the strings here with our left hand and then start the strumming pattern. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. So if you just need to try that a few times on your own with just the muted strum without having to worry about anything happening with your fretting hand, feel free to do so. Better to do it slow and get the technique down than to kind of rush along into chords. So just try that a few times. Now let's take a look at doing this with one single chord. So let's just hold a C chord here because our focus is on strumming and we want to make everything that's happening with our fretting hand as easy as possible. So let's just hold a C chord here with our ring finger and we're going to do the same exercise nice and slow. So just try to count that as you go so you can kind of really feel that since you're starting on an and it might feel a little different this first few times through, so you really want to kind of get used to that feeling before you uh, move too far along. So here we go. Again, on just a C chord. One, two, three, four. And one, and two. And one, and two. And one, and two. And one, and two two and one and two and one and two so again just want to spend a little time there with a c chord totally cool i really want to stress to you to go nice and slow when you're learning this strum pattern as with all new strumming patterns and rhythm techniques all that good stuff you want to do it nice and slow because those slow repetitions really are going to help you in the end you might think oh this is silly i'm doing this too slow, this is never going to be in the context of anything, but I promise you the slow repetitions really will pay off in the end, so go slow. All right, so for the first time we're going to take and do a faster version of just the single chord because I want you guys to really feel what this is like to do this strumming pattern a little more at the tempo of what you would see in a song. So we're just going to hold a C chord here and we're going to go with a little bit of a brisker pace as we do the strumming pattern. If you just want to stay slow, that's totally cool, but if you're ready for this, give it a try. So here we go. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. Up, down, up, clap, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up, clap. Keep going. 
Feel that up strum. Up, down, up, clap. Up, down, up, clap. Up, down, up, clap. Up, down, up, clap. All right, so I thought it'd be cool to take a look at what this would sound like with a song that you guys might be familiar with. Jason Mraz had a song called I'm Yours. It was like a top charting song, I think, at some point in the last few years here. Another ukulele song that brought the ukulele to the forefront of our minds. So I thought it'd be cool to do the progression. So the progression we're going to use is C, G, A minor, and F. If you don't know those chords, go back to the Kickstart series. They're in there. But for now, C, G, A minor, F, and we're gonna do four times through the strumming pattern, up, down, up, mute, on each one of those chords. So we'll go nice and slow, and then we'll build up the tempo from there. Here we go. One, two, three, four, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up, clap. Switch. Keep it going. Back to C. Switch to G. Here we go with a little bit more pace. We're going to try to get this a little closer to what you would feel in a song like I'm Yours. So if you need to keep with the slow version, feel free. But if you're ready to uh, get rocking here a little bit, we're going to go for it. So we're going to go four times through this progression with a little bit more pace. Try counting with me as you go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one. Counting if you're watching at home. And one and two, 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 and one and two. Smiling helps too. It'll really help you get the rhythm down. And one and two, and one and two. Ukulele, you're having fun. One and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two. And one and two. Let's do it one more time for good measure. I hope you guys had some fun today. Day six, the up, down, up, mute strum. It's a lot of fun, and you can apply it to a lot of different songs. So check the description. I'll leave some more information. If you guys haven't done the Kickstart series to work on these chords, you can do that. And also, I'll leave some links below to the PDFs, which I have. We'll have exercises for all of these videos that you can check out on my website. They're free. There's no reason you guys shouldn't check them out. I think we're having a really good conversation in the comments section lately, especially through this series. I love hearing from you guys all over the world. I've been hearing from people from South Africa, Australia, Belgium, Germany, the UK. It's really cool to see the community of ukulele just continuing to thrive and grow. So keep in touch with me. We're kind of building something together here with this strumming series and I'm really happy about it. I'll see you guys next time. Day seven, it's the end of the series, but it's not the end. We've got a lot more stuff to do together. I'll see you next time. <laughs>